girls, and I'm back with a new episode today. Alright, so I know it's been like two weeks since I last posted the videos because of what I said. Well, me wanted to focus on my art, and I got that done. So I'm back. So today, I'm not spilling the tea on something. I'm talking about my artwork. So this is gonna be a new segment called West Art World. So where I am gonna talk about pieces of art that I've done in the past or recently that I just really wanna talk about. So today's segment is going to be about the paintings I did for an art assignment in my class. So first, let's look at these photos. We got, I have no name for this. But it's just gorgeous. Look at it. I love the pink and the gray blue mixture. I did a T. That's one. Second one. Oh my god. My friend said it was like a um, sad face. Like I'm releasing my inner artist, as James Charles will say. And finally, my all-time favorite. It just gives me a Picasso abstract vibe to it. It's like, I don't know about it. It's like the bright colors and the placements of the shades I did. Gorgeous. So, let's talk about this one. So, my assignment was to saturate using four different colors. I used red, white, no, I used red. I use I tinted the red to get this pink. Then I darkened a yellow to get this, like, green mixture color and then I saturated using white and black to get gray then I mix it with a blue and that's why it's like like this nice gray tone blue saturation so this one was like the only hardest to do because of the fact that um with the the yellow every time I s darken a yellow with black I use too much black and that black ended up making it look like it's green and this is like not even like a green you see this in light it's green but like no lighting this is just like black and i'm like god i'm going to fail this assignment luckily i did not the next one is my all-time favorite this one we're supposed to tint every four colors that we use so the four colors i used was green yellow red and blue I tinted all of them because we're supposed to have the same shade, well, tone, to be exact. And I love the placements because, like, the placements how I did it, I did, like, complementary. So, like, orange and blue, that's how I got this lovely color. The red and the green are together, so it's all arranged in order of, like, aesthetically pleasing. Like, I just love that about art. It's aesthetically pleasing. And, like... This is really my all-time favorite because of the way it came out and it just really gave that whole artwork you like you've seen this in a museum like it will be hang up on next to a wall with picasso's art all his famous abstract and all artists famous abstract it's just sitting right there like yeah stunning it's like god just i'll dead buy a shirt with this pattern Ooh, that'll be a t a shirt with this pattern Oh my god, get your shirts ordered now. And finally, this one. I just love... Well, green is not like my all-time favorite color, but when it comes to painting, green is a gorgeous color to paint with, especially when you have the right shades. So in this assignment, I was supposed to darken, lighten, and regularly use a color. So I use green. So this is the regular green. I tinted it to get like this mint looking feel like green color. And then I darkened it to get like this dark forest green, I would say. But like, as a problem with like the same thing with the yellow, I use so much black. So it's just like, it's green in the right lighting, but like in person, it looks kind of black. Which then again, it gets to that illusion. Like it's two colors. Love it, enjoy it. See, and Honestly, I really love how all three came out. It's like, hello, colors. This is giving me like, oh, tea. I didn't even peep. 
I'm not looking at it more closely. It's like a camouflage. So it's like, you know, those army clothes or like regular like camo clothes. It literally has this type of like pattern and color concept feel to it. Yo, T. And I even realized that. Wow. I'm more interested there. I ever realized. <laughs> oh, sorry about my voice. I'm kind of getting a cold. I blame my stupid brothers. <sighs> stupid, stupid. And then. Honestly, going back, I think in the right angle, it just gives off that like, oh my god, this is like a mountain and this is like the sky. Yo, my abstract is so deep. Shit, that's tea right there. And look, I'm just gonna go back to my all time favorite, just like show it off. Like, I will never. This, this is just gonna hang up somewhere. Like, this is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Yo, I really love it. Shit. Well, those are my three favorite art group paintings I just recently did. And I really enjoyed making the process. It was fun. Though, like, mixing paint is really annoying. And I really should have done, like, use color A. Like, so, like, the paper and cut it out. Instead of having to sit there, like, for four hours painting each individual one. I was really up from, what, six, and then I finished at 12. I was like, oh my god. I was like, I'm tired. I was like, I want to bullshit it. But I was like, no, I can't. I need a grade. And I got an A on it, so. As I should. Well, I think the audience loved that. Let's hear what the audience say. You do? Oh my god, they love it. That's an A right there. Oh, thank you. You can quiet now. So, that's all the time we have today in Wes's art world. Like, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And I'm happy to be back and happy to talk to my subscribers once again. So, share this video with your friends if they like art or they like the tea spilling I usually normally do. And I'll see you guys when... I upload. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.